As previously stated, the left-hand side of our carriageway is currently in a full condition. But for argument's sake, what happens if the ground does something like this? Which is highly unlikely, but for explanation purposes, I'm going to put the ground line in like this. As it is now, we are not quite sure whether we are in cut or full. And that is why we need to specify where to test to see if the road is in cut or full. That is done over here at the cut and full test offset group. This would imply one and a half meters from our last compulsory point. If we're looking at the display line, it's over here. This is the position to test whether our road is in cut or full. We also have the option to allow to float. Let me discuss that option in more detail. If I right click and select add ground again and put in the road in a minor full condition and a greater cut condition, I actually want the road to be treated as a cut condition. But looking at the cut full offset, one and a half meters is specified. That means that it will test at that point and if that's the case, the road is actually in a full condition. Civil Designer therefore gives us the option to allow to float. If we do select this option, Civil Designer won't just test at a fixed point, but rather test from our last compulsory point all the way through to our specified testing offset position. In other words, the test is conducted along an area and not just one position. Civil Designer will check our greatest full condition and compare it to the greatest cut condition. In this case, the cut condition height difference is greater than the full condition. Therefore, this is treated as a cut condition. 